Let's go, Koronacht. Hey, Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. Got something new to try. Should help. One more time. Lady Artemis. Hey, how'd you get your hands on a nice bow like that? You take good care of Coronacht for me, so I can try it too once you're up here. now. with Megara the Fury, haven't you? Oh, I know a thing or two about that one. Though lately we Olympians no longer mingle with those living in the underworld. You're the only exception. Love it. this too. for my weapon.
good as new. Let's go, lads. Perfect timing. You know, Prince Ed, I'd not expected to run into you again, not after all this time. Something I missed down in the house, or what? Not had much company of late, is all. Well, something's just about always amiss back home, sir. Figured it couldn't hurt to check up on things in Tartarus a bit more frequently. Well, I am grateful for it, I and the old boulder there, in turn. I'm used to going lengthy stretches on my own, but having visitors from time to time would do me well. You got it. Cheers, mate. Within the depths of Tartarus reside the most wretched of all the shades who linger for eternity within the underworld, whose lord and master is especially unkind to those attempting to cheat death. Lots of wretchedness to go around, I guess. So long, Linus. Pests. in the world this time. Oh no. Do not presume that you escape my notice, boy. I get the feeling I am being watched. I shall deal with you later, then. There. Hmm. Kieran's shop. <sighs> Got to say, you are a sight for sore eyes there, Kieran. So, uh, looks like you're selling, is that it? You come to help me out? <sighs> Brilliant. Should come in useful. Better blessing. Uh, 
Oh, no. <clears throat> I heard what happened. You crossed the river of flame. You really did it. That Hydra was a total bastard, though. Bastards. But you sound practically impressed with me there, Meg. I feel so flattered. You'll soon feel something else. I don't know how you did it, but it changes nothing. some sort of power, but for what? Well, Father, I'm trespassing through your secret hall. The path from Tartarus is finally laid bare. Far above, the heat from Phlegathon, the River of Flame, is faintly felt already even as its dangers lie in wait. Lovely. Heading up. Good. Asphodel. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame-resistant, not flame-proof. kid. How's it going then, your royal majesty? Nice to meet you. I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like this? Hi there. No need for formalities. I'm Zagreus. Just heading out on some official business past the menacing Bone Hydra. Don't mean to be rude, though I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, don't you have your hands full, hon? I'll let you go. 
But there's one rule in my place, which is nobody leaves here empty handed. You got that? So take your pick. My treat. Sure, here. Feeling better already. Bye now. Later then, yeah? Wavemakers. Dragons.
gust of air, this mark, almost like a bat wing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hey, boss. Found you. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally, I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now, come on. We've both got places to be. Appreciate the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now, let's go. Good enough to eat. Having traversed the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point, relentless Zagreus must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery who lies ahead, awaiting patiently its time to strike. Way to spoil the surprise, old man. Get back in the magma and no one gets hurt. Shades of the dead mill constantly within the house, complaining of their woes and seeking audience from any who would listen. I oh, owie, looks like the bone hydra of Asphodel just stomped you that time, huh? I hear each of its heads has its own nasty tricks. That must be tough. It was unpleasant, yes. Achilles, is it really true that Cerberus ripped the lounge up right after I left? You must have gotten in a lot of trouble. I only wish you could have seen it, lad. The place looked like a vineyard after a typhoon. Your Lord Father was livid, but he never gets so angry with the dog. Poor Dusa, though, she's picking the place up. Oh no. I wonder what became of Dusa. She's always worried Father's going to fire her, even without something like this. Oh, tough luck. You keep an eye on father for me, boy. Don't let him sour up everyone's mood. Oh. Cerberus promises to do exactly that in his own way. You don't let anybody in or out of this place, do you, boy? Cerberus merely feigns concern for you. Father, what happened to the lounge? The only place for anyone to have a little fun around here, and you seal it shut. Oh, I had little choice about that boy. You see, after you fled the first time, Cerberus, why, he was very much upset. Utterly tore the place to shreds. It's now under repair. All thanks to you. You're really blaming me for not minding the dog while I was out and while you all were here. I lay the blame entirely upon you, yes. Who else? It's fortunate that Cerberus has calmed himself since then. Come to his senses, I should say. May you yet come to yours. What's that there? Something from the Fates? Wonder where Nyx went. Hey, uh, Meg. Look, I, I know you're just doing your job out there, and anyway, found this, thought of you and all that, so here. I, I'll see to it this contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finer's fee and go about your business. I, uh... 
thanks. What are your sisters up to these days, Meg? I've not seen them around. We're stretched a little thin, as you can see. Some kind of war up there meant lots of business here. I'm left to hold the line and deal with you. Darkness, give me strength. 